There is nothing that happens in your life that takes God by surprise. We get taken by surprise, but not God. You may have had plans and suddenly they fell through. One minute your life is going smoothly and the next minute you find yourself overhead in trouble. The unexpected has happened and you are wondering, where are you, God? But God is never caught by surprise, by the trouble that comes your way. He is not clueless when an attack happens. He is never blindsided by the devil. Life was going so well for Job. God blessed him and his family greatly, but in one swoop, the enemy took everything away from him. The first report came in. A messenger arrived at Job's home with this news. Your oxen were plowing, with the donkeys feeding beside them when the Sabians raided us. They stole all the animals and killed all the farmhands. I am the only one who escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking, another messenger arrived with this news. Job chapter 1 verses 14 to 15. The news kept coming fast and quick. Job didn't have a moment to take in any of the news individually because it all came at once. Job was definitely caught by surprise and it may have seemed like God was also caught by surprise, but he wasn't. He was protecting him and wouldn't allow the enemy to take his life. He would turn Job's devastating circumstances around for good soon. God wasn't scrambling at what to do when all the trouble was happening in Job's life. And so it is with us. God loves you and he is in total control of your life. If he wasn't, then there would be much reason to be afraid and panic but he is watching over you and he is with you in the storms that come your way. Joseph was someone else who was caught by surprise. God had a great calling on his life and for a while, it seemed like everything was going to plan. But one day, as he went looking for his brothers, things went horribly for him. When Joseph's brothers saw him coming, they recognized him in the distance. As he approached, they made plans to kill him. Here comes the dreamer, they said. Come on, let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns. We can tell our father, a wild animal has eaten him. Then we'll see what becomes of his dreams. Genesis chapter 37 verses 18 to 20. The enemy wanted to destroy Joseph, and even though Joseph had no idea what was being planned against him, God knew. No matter what the enemy has planned for you, know that God is with you. The enemy may plan to destroy you, but God is your shield and your protector. He has defeated the enemy and will make sure you have victory even when it seems like the enemy is winning. So in Joseph's case, his life was spared when Reuben, his brother, talked sense into his other brothers. But even though his life was spared, he was sold as a slave. So when the Ishmaelites, who were Midianite traders, came by, Joseph's brothers pulled him out of the cistern and sold him to them for 20 pieces of silver. And the traders took him to Egypt. Genesis chapter 37 verse 28. God was not caught by surprise when Joseph was sold as a slave and when he was taken to Egypt. The enemy may have thought he had won by derailing any plans Joseph had, but God was in total control. In Egypt, Joseph was not alone. God was there. When Joseph was taken to Egypt by the Ishmaelite traders, he was purchased by Potiphar, an Egyptian officer. 
Potiphar was captain of the guard for Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. The Lord was with Joseph, so he succeeded in everything he did as he served in the home of his Egyptian master. Genesis chapter 39 verse 1 God was with Joseph in the most difficult and challenging time of his life. Even more encouraging is that God was going to fulfill what he promised Joseph in Egypt, in a place that was supposed to end his hopes and dreams. God had it all planned out. Joseph would not have fulfilled his calling if he never went to Egypt. God was in total control of his life, and nothing the enemy did caught him by surprise. God was and is a million steps ahead of the enemy. There is nothing that is happening in your life that God is not aware of. The enemy may think he has got you where he wants you, but he has no idea that God already has plans to deliver you and break through for you. Like I said, God is a million steps ahead of the enemy. Let's pray. King Jesus, there is nothing that catches you by surprise. There is nothing the enemy throws at us that blindsides you. There is nothing that he does that leaves you at a loss at what to do. You promise that you will always be with us and we can be encouraged by that. We hold on to your promise when we are in over our heads, when the enemy seems to be winning. For he God himself has said, I will not in any way fail you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. I will not. I will not. I will not in any degree leave you helpless, nor forsake, nor let you down. Relax my hold on you. Assuredly not. So we take comfort and are encouraged and confidently and boldly say, The Lord is my helper. I will not be seized with alarm. I will not fear or dread or be terrified. What can man do to me? Hebrews chapter 13 verse 6 We trust you, Lord, when we are caught by surprise, when we are overwhelmed by the storms in our lives. We know that you will break through for us, that you will turn our hopeless situation around. We take comfort that you are in total control of our lives. It's not the enemy that has control. It's not people that have control. It's you that has control, and that is the best news. You have our best interests at heart and you want to fulfill what you have promised us. We thank you for all that you are doing in our lives. Father, we recall the story of Job, who endured immense suffering and loss. Despite the enemy's attempts to destroy him, you were always in control. Like Job, help us to remain steadfast in our faith trusting that you will turn our circumstances around for good. Lord, we also remember Joseph, who was betrayed by his brothers and sold into slavery. Yet, even in the darkest moments, you were with him. You turned what was meant for harm into a pathway for Joseph's destiny. May we, too, find strength in knowing that you are with us, guiding us through every trial. When we face the enemy's attacks, help us to remember your promise in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17. No weapon forged against you will prevail, and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and this is their vindication from me, declares the Lord. We stand on this promise, knowing that you are our protector and our shield. Thank you, Father, for being our refuge and strength and ever-present help in trouble. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.